looking at those pictures, was trying to think, had history not changed course, would this kind of exhibition be possible? Watching, looking at pictures from the history of solidarity in the Polish consulate in New York City, well, actually, yes, it would have been possible, but the crowd present would have been different. Had communism survived? I can imagine a communist government showing off pictures from the history of the ultimate defeat of the enemy, the enemy being Solidarity, to other friends and comrades from friendly countries. None of you would have been in this room. Um, the pictures are largely self-explanatory, but I'd like to point out two of them from the very beginning. Here, you can see the Burning Party Committee in the town of Gdańsk in 1970. And on the first panel here, you can see the Burning Party Committee in the town of Radom in 76. On both occasions, striking workers attack the headquarters of power, the workers attacking the so-called Workers' Party, and gutted it. And this is when Jacek Kuroń, the master strategist of the opposition movement, launched a slogan which said, do not burn committees, set up your own ones. And this is the story of what happens when people actually set up their own committees, try to organize. In a way, not a very specifically Polish story. And the fact that it is illustrated by slogans from the history of the American labor movement is very relevant, very pertinent. What, is, what I find most encouraging about the Polish story is that it really can happen anywhere. That when people self-organize, resist the temptation to burn the enemy down, and instead set up their own committees and try to organize the world according to their own wishes and expectations, they can try it. There's one more picture I would like to point out. At this panel here, one person can set up a spark. Anna Valentinovich, a simple worker whose very unfair dismissal from the Gdańsk shipyards triggered the first strike, shows that indeed an individual can change history. And this is, of course, the very famous picture of the wire which is about to break. You never know when the wire will break. But one lesson that I have drawn from those events is Somebody who witnessed 1989 and all that relinquishes his moral right to be a pessimist. I mean, this never should have happened. This never should have worked. And if indeed it did, it means it really can happen anywhere else. So when tomorrow you'll open your papers and see all the depressing news from around the world, try to think for once no depressing news from that part of the world which was under communist rule. If we made it, anybody can. Enjoy your newspapers. Yes, given the opportunity to speak, I will say, <laughs> take two minutes. Uh, 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 thank you very much for the idea. Um, I want to say something about the novelty of this uh, exhibit. Uh, there, the story is familiar, it's very familiar, but we tried to present it in a, the, that is the authors uh, of the exhibit, tried to present it in a different way. We tried to present it from the bottom up, from the point of view of the people who were active in the movement in the 70s and then at the Gdańsk shipyards. Uh, the story, as, as uh, Kostek Gebek uh, said, is a triumphal one and an encouraging one. It also seems inevitable now that we look back on it. It was not inevitable, either in the 70s or in the 80s. So that's one aspect. Um, another is the um, framing of the individual plates with uh, quotations from American nonviolent social movements. Uh, 
I think it's very helpful to see, to take a look at solidarity from another kind of perspective. Uh, and perhaps after some time, uh, we would be able to frame stories of American movements with quotations from solidarity. Thank you. Sorry, sorry again, but I just get the idea of seeing it. Uh, so thank you, uh, Professor Temoski. Thank you, uh, Mr. Gebert. Uh, please enjoy your drinks. We still have something like 20 minutes uh, before we begin. We should we should start somewhere around six o'clock. Uh, so please uh, share your comments, view the exhibition, and we'll start at around six o'clock with the with the official part. Thank you. <laughs>